One of you must be pretty good at ice hockey. But if you're the people I think you are, it was worth it. Tonight you said you knew several names of checks on the Gestapo's list. Yes. We want to know who they are. Believe me, I don't know them. I only talk like that in the last hope of making contact with the underground. And I think I have. Haven't I? Supposing you have. I'm a British secret agent, gentlemen. I need your help desperately. We need more proof than merely your word for it. But that's all I can give. No, Peter Valek. He was about to put me in touch with you when they caught him. My job is a very big one. I'm here to wreck their new gas plant. I'm working there now, but I must have help. Chemicals, a place to make pocket bombs, men to help make them. Tonight, now. They're shipping the first batch of gas tomorrow. You must believe me. Do you think I'd be mad enough to take this chance if the situation wasn't of the great... One moment. You informed on the Palachik girl. Why? I had to. They knew I'd seen her do it. And she knew they'd seen me. If you ever erect a monument to Czech patriotism, that girl's name should be carved in letters as high... Grant you that. What is your real name? Captain Seren Stevenson. Royal Engineers, now detached for special work with military intelligence. British swine! Oh, that's there. The Gestapo, I take it. Correct. It's not a nice sensation for a man to realize he's bungled his job. I assure you. Your little display at the bar was slightly obvious. Evidently. Well. What now? Hmm. We do these things quickly. No formalities. Gas on shut at the base of the neck. Well, shall we carry on? Tell Hoover to get things ready. If you care to write a message to your family or anything, over there. Very kind of you. It will go through the decoding office, so don't try any tricks. Having a difficult time, huh? It isn't easy. First time I've written this kind of letter. Once is enough. Just a moment, read it. Dear Perry, I'm sorry I have messed things up. Please let my mother know. I'm sure you will be tactful. Give her my dear love. To you and all friends, all the best. Sorry to miss the victory. Binge. Yours, Terence Stevenson. That's it. I suppose you realize this is all quite futile. You can do your work with me, but you can have to do it with the next. And the next. And no matter how long it takes, the whole civilized world will keep on coming at you. Coming at you and coming again. You know that? Why? You wait, Nestor. You made a brilliant effort to contact the underground. Congratulations. You have Captain Stevens at your service, sir. By Jove. I'm Dr. Novotny. I have the honor to be chairman of our council. By Jove! It's the second time I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry we had to be so strenuous, but you can understand, I'm sure. Uh, certainly was a convincing performance. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, have you got anything besides beer here? <laughs> Peter, some wine for all of us. 
Oh, Doctor, we mustn't waste the set. A gigantic undertaking. Yes, I shall, I shall need all the help we can get in at once. A place to work. Watch mechanism for timing yes, device. Yes, I know. Get to Oban. I at my office or his house. All the help we can give you, you shall have. We have our own laboratory here on the cellar. Crude as it is. Splendid. We'll manage. Beautiful work. I don't know what I'd have done without your help. The most compact container of lethal power I've ever seen. Oh, we learned something, eh? Yeah. Is there enough explosive in there to blow up the entire plant? Yeah, properly placed, there's enough nitrous seen in these to wipe out two entire blocks. The only thing I can understand is why they sent him. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say you had to report an hour earlier today? Yes. It is nearly seven o'clock. Oh, thank you. Ah, our timetable worked out perfectly. These are set to go off at exactly 12.15. That gives me just 15 minutes after noon layoff to drop them in and clear out. And Nesta here will be in the car by the south field. From 12 o'clock on, and I have the door open. Good, if you don't, you'll have to expect a passenger through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Lieutenant. I shall have to hurry. I'm late. Well, Tato? I've been waiting. Have you any news for me? Oh, plenty. See you in the lunch hour. Same old sabotage. Tonight, we use this together. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, Marushka. Marushka, good. Come. Come. Come in here. So serious, Otto? Serious? Wait till I have the full call and we'll see. Hello? Inspector Fogel speaking, Division A2. Get me Colonel von Wetter, German Legation, Bucharest. Yes, that's it. What is this little drama all about? When I got to headquarters this morning, I heard that Tartu is now working at the new gas factory. Yes, he did mention You know he didn't come home last night? No, I didn't. Oh, this is all too dangerous. We can't wait now. If anything happened, and it was found out that you and I were suspicious and hadn't reported him, why? Well, why this call to Bucharest? I inquired about his credentials at headquarters. He came with a letter from the consul at Seget and was supposed to have been sent to him by von Wetter in Bucharest. I'm going to that source now. Do you really think you need? Yes, Marushka. Hello? Yes? I'm waiting. You mean... He isn't Gestapo? There's always a chance I made a mistake. Still waiting. An Inspector Fogo in Pilsen. Von Wetter speaking. Tartu? That's impossible. Tartu has been dead over six months. Ah, then he is a spy. I thought his papers were forged. That's why I checked with you, Colonel. Yes, he'll be dealt with at once. Thank you, Colonel. Yes? Hi, Littler. <laughs> you made no mistake, my darling. <laughs> you don't seem very pleased about it. Of course I'm pleased. I don't know what all the excitement about. I told you he was a spy, and now you find it out for yourself. Yes. But now he's working at the gas factory. I must have him arrested. At once. Hello? Why let the Gestapo... You talked about this doing us a bit of good? It will. I don't believe in waiting. Not for a moment. Hello? Hello. Huh? Don't you remember what I said when I was in here last? Marushka. You men, you're all alike. First it's me, and then it's your future. Same thing, Marushka. You are in my future. This won't take long. Don't be too sure. I'm not used to being treated like this. You're 